Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday. I'm so pleased to be back with you again. As you can see, I am attempting to try something new. So hopefully uh, this will work. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm no tech savvy individual. So I hope uh, we'll just see how this goes. So this morning, um, I just wanted to draw us back to the message that we heard yesterday. Uh, Dwayne took us to Deuteronomy chapter 6, and I want to specifically um, start with uh, verse 5, where Moses was instructing the Israelites to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. And this led me to look up verses about God's love what his love is like and scripture gives us a powerful picture that is for the lack of uh, better words I, all i could say is overwhelmingly good so here goes i'm just going to give you a few verses but just listen to these verses and allow them to permeate your hearts and your minds deeply this morning so here we go Ephesians 3 verses 18 to 19 and may you have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with the fullness of God. Next, 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 7. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Next, I have Psalm 36, verses 5 to 7. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast, you save, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. And lastly, Romans 8, verse, verses 35 and 37 to 39. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Didn't those verses about God's love just overwhelm you? flood your head and your heart to overflowing that's what they did for me this morning that just the the joy just can you it, it just is warming and um you know just, though we cannot fully uh, comprehend and understand god's love it's so reassuring so complete and so perfect it's unconditional and it's abundant. It never ends and is trustworthy, oh, trustworthy completely. And it never fails or lets us down. It is not based on who we are and what we do. His love just is. And I wanted to share this reminder with you this morning. And I hope that you will even take time to meditate on these verses this week and really allow them to penetrate deeply into your, your heart so that you can really grasp that. And, um, and it's just so encouraging. So on that note, I, I pray that you will have an awesome week and I look forward to seeing you again next Monday. Okay, take care guys. Bye for now.